Welcome to Nivy's Toy Story. Hi guys, it's Nivy. I hope you're doing very well and I'm doing good too. Did you watch my last Toy Story, which was the Red Shoes? Do you know what Toy Story I'm going to tell you today? It is... So the grandmother thought and said, hmm... We have to change the skull's habit and also she doesn't have anyone to be look after so I think I should take care of her so yes let's take care of her then she went up to the girl and said look you don't have anyone to be look after so I think I should take care of you so would you like it she was like uh, okay so she was in her house she had her own room she had a good food but her habit didn't that much change she was still rude then a few then lots of years passed and she was grown up and a being an adult and she was starting to be very rude she was suspecting she wanted something she wanted that specific thing she was like i don't want that food i want another one i want rice she was very strict and very rude so then a man came the next day and she, he and she was wearing the red shoes she was like oh, why are you doing this then he was like, oh my goodness, I think we should do something. This girl had to change her habit and learn a lesson. So he went down onto his knees and put his head on the floor and he was on her feet. And he was like, and she was like, what are you doing? Because it's a bit weird. And he was like, he was saying some words to make a spell to make those shoes dance by itself instead of her dancing. So then he answered and said, no, it's fine. I just want to see how your red shoes are. It's so beautiful. So he was, and she was like, oh, thank you. So a few days passed and she was dancing very nicely and calmly and said oh these red shoes are so nice so nice then unfortunately do you know what happened the bad thing happened do you know what a spell the spell the shoes started to dance and she was like no it's not me dancing it's the shoes oh make me stop make me stop and she started spinning and making those very fancy dance moves and until the night she was dancing and she started to dance forever and ever and she went on the highest mountain and she was dancing right on top of it and she was like no it's like oh no i just wanted to stop oh my goodness i hate these red shoes stop 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 and then she found a way to take off those very irritable shoes and when she took it off something very badly happened the problem wasn't solved yet look the shoes were starting dancing it was dancing by itself she was like oh my oh my goodness my foot oh it really hurts oh my goodness she was in terror she was in very frightened she didn't know what to do and she begged for someone to help but no one came it was the night so she finally reached with her poor sore foot and she walked very 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 slowly until she saw her house with the grandmother and she was like oh look it's the house oh i want to go inside oh. then finally the spell stopped 
and she was like, oh my goodness, thank you, I learned my lesson. I was a very rude girl, I don't know why I was doing this, oh luckily I changed now, I learned my lesson, thank you mother, thank you grandmother. And she was like, it's fine, but remember, don't do it again. And she promised. And they had a lovely, yummy feast. And they <laughs> lived happily ever after. The end. Did you like the story? Well, I hope you did. If you like the story, please thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below to tell me what you like about the story. This is Nivy. And the red shoes signing up. <laughs>